Salvias are one of the most versatile and useful garden perennials you can plant in your garden. They're long flowering, they come in a wide variety of colours, they have interesting aromatic foliage and best of all they're virtually unstoppable. But I do find that people can sometimes be a bit confused about how to prune them to get the best out of them. So here's some tips about how and when to prune to get the maximum out of your salvias. They flower on the ends of the branches, so when you're pruning you want to generate as much vegetative growth as possible because that will end up in beautiful bursts of flowers through the warmer months of the year. We're at towards the end of winter right now, so it's the perfect time to prune them. All these old branches are not going to do much more except go up and up, so if we take them down low, the beauty of salvias is that they suck up from the base. So you can go as low as you like to reshape the plant or if you've got a plant in its prime, a light trim will do the trick. Now the front half of this plant has already been pruned back in the past and there's a whole lot of beautiful new growth coming there. We just need to tidy that up a little bit. But it's these old canes that have really finished flowering that I want to tidy up right now. We can cut them back as hard as you like. And back on the stumps, you can see there are some beautiful new green shoots coming through. So it's really a simple matter of trimming back to those. And before you know it, your salvia will be back to its best. This red salvia is really in its prime. It's got a whole lot of new growth ready to spring up for summer but we do need to give it what I call a maintenance prune to get rid of some of this leggy growth, as opposed to the renovation prune I did on the other salvias. So I just get in and give this a light trim and it'll just set this plant up beautifully for summer. So the job's right, pruning, it really is a job to salve the soul.